Well, the next fighter joining my boxing librarian hall of all time greats is the great Pittsburgher himself, Harry Greb, who is my number two um, rated fighter of all time. Um, so really, if it wasn't considered um, an all time great by, by me, um, it would indicate I am a bit off. Uh, Harry Greb, the great Pittsburgher, um, one of the great fighters of all time. Let us take a look at some of his stats. Um, as he joins my Hall of All Time Greats. So the great Harry Greb himself beat 14 individual world champions and he had a staggering total of 45 rounds against world cha champions. Harry Greb also fought a total of 465 rounds against those um, champions he fought. And Adi Greb has beat more Hall of Famers than any fighter in history, coming in with a total of 15. He's got nearly a half century, which is a ridiculous total, really, when you think about it. He's had as many fights against Hall of Famers as Floyd Mayweather had legitimate professional fights. Uh, but Adi Greb had 49 fights against Hall of Fame fighters in his staggering career. Also has a very severe winning record with over 30 wins in there against them. And when you factor draws as well uh, it's a staggering winning record against them he fought 499 rounds against hall of fame fighters and Hadi greb comes in with a total of 10 world title fights he made six title defenses and had greb fought a total of 137 title fight rounds now had greb in fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers comes in with a total of 81 i've calculated that number um, a few times once being a bit more lenient up to nearly 160 and the other being more tough um about 130 but either way, his number, had ratings existed his whole career, would have been staggering and would have been way, way, way past 100. Meanwhile, Harry Greb also had 57 fights against pound for pound rated fighters in his career, um, which again, 57 fights against pound for pound rated fighters. I mean, that buries modern active fighters' career totals, and that is just fights against pound for pounders. This is why Harry Greb is an automatic all time great. He was also a pound for pound rated top 10 for nearly a decade and considering that his career um, was only from 1913 to 1926 okay so a short career whereas other fighters who are pros for 20 years have more time still being rated pound for pound nearly a decade in that short number is quite incredible so basically when you look at his numbers okay Harry Greb is one of boxing's legendary fighters. He has legendary statistics. He has a legendary resume. His resume is staggering. You know, multiple years where he's had over 30 fights, the 45 and 0 year, um, the staggering list of all-time of all -time greats who will be shown, um, and Hall of Famers and World Champions, who this guy crammed in year after year after year. To me, Harry Greb epitomizes, um, like Sam Langford does, um, exactly what the term all-time great should mean okay not all-time great because you win undisputed in one division and fight four or five alphabet champions okay a real all-time great who fought the top opposition across multiple divisions back to back back to back year on year fighting insane fight runs um, that is encapsulated by Harry Greb and his stats and numbers are as amazing as his resume he's an automatic entry um, into my all-time great listing I'm out for now